name. It could be big time. They don't gotta be like personal. It could be like Gotti or who like you was just like. Nah, no, the one that no, the one that really shocked me. The only one that shocked me in my whole lifetime because I never even you know when everybody else started telling doing my thing, the people that I knew. You know what I mean? It was like I was already caught up in that whirlwind and I'm watching other people tell. So it's like, you know what I mean? I didn't have a chance to think about it. But the first time I heard about somebody that told that really shocked me. You know what I mean? You know, got to be, you know, Sammy the Bull and then Nicky Barnes. Oh. Sammy the Bull because he had all those murderers. So I looked at him as a different type of man right. because he was a murderer. Right. You understand? Uh -huh. You know, uh, 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 um. The other one I just said, um, Nikki, Nikki Nikki, yeah, Nicky Barnes. He said, all the way because they was y'all was fucking this bitch. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, that's an excuse that they make. But what I'm saying is, you know, I didn't really even pay that no mind. You understand what I'm saying? I didn't, you know, I, I didn't even process that one. But when Sammy the Bull told, when John Gotti was going so hard, because John Gotti was going hard, my nigga. I mean, he'll go be the case. That's why I called him Teflon Don and came out and stood on the Brooklyn steps and say, man, F the DA. You know what I mean? Fuck y'all. You'll never get me. All of that. And then here goes his man flipped on him when he going so hard and he beating cases. So it's like the same way we was rooting for Tupac's life. We was rooting for John Gotti to be the case. Mm -hmm. Even us blacks. Because he's the one standing up to the government. Yep. So we was rooting for him. So when he told... We knew he was going down. It's like, damn, this nigga told. And then when he got five years for telling? That was crazy. Man, he talking for about killing, you know, 19, over 20, 30 and people. And he got 19 bodies, maybe more than that. Yeah. That's crazy. All right. So now, you opened the ADX. Mm. I seen that, underground jail. Mm. Did they put you there by mistake, or it was a reason? Nah, you man. They put me there from the, from the Lewisburg riot. With the riot, with the um, tear gas and all that that I'm saying, when you know, with the stabbing of the police, all of that is what brought me up there. You know oh, what okay. I mean? Listen, man, one thing the government don't want, you don't touch the police. You understand what I'm saying? Period. Okay. You don't touch the correction officer. Period. Shot didn't kill your ass. You understand right? what I'm saying? They don't play oh, that shit. Oh, they broke my ribs and all that. I'm about that. to say that shit. Oh, my nuts I, up I know they went, I went there. I know. Oh, man. I'm glad you hit oh, me. They beat they, me. I know they went to work on man, you. Man, they beat me half to death. Knocked out my four front teeth with an axe handle. Ooh, man, they terrorized me, my nigga. Damn. Man, them white people wasn't playing with me. They took, damn. Come See, on, my nigga. I guess what? I guess, four front teeth and guess what? You still here. Hand. You still here. The white people wasn't playing with me. I know that's going to work. Did you hear what he said? What? They knocked out his four front teeth with an axe handle and broke his ribs. Because back then, the police, when I got there in 93, 94, 95, Ooh. all the way up until then, after they did all of that shit to me with their <laughs> goddamn axe handles and shit, the police was allowed to carry batons in the prison, in the federal prison. You understand? And they had this one big ass cop named Rambo in Lewisburg, used to wear red suspenders. Y'all know who Rambo is, that was back then. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Rambo yeah. carried an axe handle, my nigga. Shit. And when you first that was his baton, because he was a big old white boy, like about <coughs> six, eight, three hundred something pounds, chewing tobacco, spitting it in a big ass bottle with sunflower seeds, and calling you a nigga in a minute type shit. Mm. So you know what I mean? So what my man, but my, my my man stabbed him. Big shout out to Bernard Goins. I met Bernard Goins when I went up there to ADX. I'm not. He shot a man out for stabbing a nigga. Yeah. He's stupid. Yeah. He, was, he was saying this guy was. With the red hey. suspenders, man, you're all crazy. Come they on. Have to stand My man Bernard something. punished him. That's what he went up there to um, ADX for. That's why I met him from Chicago. Hey, brother, I, must I think say, he had GD. He if y'all know what he had, tell him to get in touch with me. Look how much stuff he's been through. Yeah. You know? That's a man's man. He ain't going to tell us about If you think you're tough enough to jump out of six stories while you shot four times, get your teeth knocked out with an axe, Broken ribs. Your face cut. Your face cut. Yeah. Then you tell, no, then you tell the surgeon, so the white me. Like from brown. millions to broke First. to back again. Millions to broke. I ain't saying you broke now, but you mm. back. My man, she mm. got something downstairs. You ain't that fucking broke. Not <laughs> thinking you won't come home to not know how to read, to learn how to read. What's the name of your book again? Uh, you better uh, get uh, it uh, wrong. You know, Based that's, on true that's, events. Yeah, man. Yo, you special, brother. You special. Yeah, that's a nah, no, 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 no